So we've just done a few warm-ups, uh, used the foam roller, rolled out a bit, and used some of the sticks and things just to like stretch your chest out and stuff so you're not so tight holding the bar. Um, what else did we do? Did a few hip activation exercises just to really open the hips up just before we squat. Never used to do it, but started to do it lately in the last couple of months just to um, I find it just really helps, right? So I'm gonna go in some squats now. Um, let me explain the reps and sets. So, what we're gonna do is, what are we gonna do? So we're gonna have three warm up sets. So we're not gonna count them into our working sets. We're gonna do 12 working sets. 12 working cool. sets. Wow. The first six are gonna be rep range about three to five, and the, and the second uh, six are gonna be um, about 10 to 12 reps. The weight will be toggled up and down, I guess, yeah. so it doesn't have to stay the same, so. We just, you submit, as, as long as we get like the 10 to 12 reps out, preferably 12, and as long as we get, you know, five reps out, that's all that matters. Um, so, 12 sets. Uh, first <laughs> I'm gonna vomit. First six uh, low reps and heavy, and then uh, second six a um, bit lighter, more reps, more concentrated on the uh, the concentric and the eccentric. Uh, yeah, that's basically it, really. into the working sets now. Here's the Zoe's second working set on 100 kg. Nice place on the go. So now we've got my pet hate. Now a few of you others out there have a little bit of OCD will uh, be able to relate to me right now. So right here in this gym we've got mostly bumper plates. Uh, the few thin plates that we have got and um, we've only got 420 plates so once you get to 100 kilos um, you have to then go all the way up and use the 25 plates now there's nothing wrong with that it's just I'm so used to building them up in 20s or 10s that when you put a 25 on you know it's just yeah it's just a little OCD I've got it'd be alright if they were color coordinated you know like those Olympic lifting ones where they get all the different colours like blues and reds and you know it's just one of those pet hates of mine is building it up with 25s instead of 20s. It's a bodybuilding thing I think, not a powerlifting thing. So we've got 180 here. Just getting chalked And we up. have to build it up with two 20s, a 25 and a 15 on each side. Unacceptable. <laughs> Unacceptable. What I want is four nice neat 20s in a row on each side and I want it's 25 and 15 so that get, it, get over it and lift it yeah we'll get the fuck over and lift it <laughs> and get a couple of reps out on 200. It's all right, not too bad. And sort of hit 200 plus kilos in a few years. It was more of a powerlifting thing back in the day, 200 plus, but yeah, it's all right. It's not so bad. Check it out, another set now on uh, 110. Here we go. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. 
A nice 120 now. And then we bailed on the third, but that's cool because we're on relatively low carbs right now, so that's a good achievement. That's where the crash bars are there. Next week, next week, or next month, <laughs> I'm chasing, I'm chasing that 140, 150 spot. 140, 150 in the next, by the end of the summer, easy, easy. Before I cut. Just like, just like the old days when we used to smash back the carbs. I'm so happy. I never thought I'd be able to do that after my surgery. Imagine having all because you already have. We did it. We got that squat booty on the go. <laughs> How do you feel? Good? Yeah. <clears throat> Wrapping it out now on 70 kilos. That's it. Nice depth there. Yeah. I am struggling now. Getting the reps out. So we've got five more sets on this. Five more sets of 10 to 12. Big. They are about that big. Play a bit of a game now. What we'll do is we get a lightweight for 60 kilos. Got the crash bars in. Go under the bar, hoist it up, and I'll take away one of the uh, one of the one of the hooks. So you can't re-rack it. You have to squat until you bail it on the crash bars, perfectly safe. All right, happy? Let's do it. Hold up. That's it. So, you're taking the hook out. So you can't rack it anymore. You have to bail it. On the racks, that's it. 
<clears throat> That's it. As fast or as slow as you want. Squeeze the glutes at the top. That's it. We just basically squat it out now until we can't squat it out anymore. <laughs> as you can see, it's perfectly safe. It's just a good psychological way of like, well, it's some, you can't rack it, can you? So it's just a good way to force yourself to go to failure. <laughs> Look at those quads. Last set. How many reps in total was this? Uh, I don't know. Was it 10 to 12, wasn't it? I lost count. Yeah, Check we're it. doing like to, fa to failure now, so I think the last set I just got 15. Go on. Yes. Let's go, let's go. Yep. Yeah. Breathe. Yes. Go on. Yep, yep, yep. second break then down to the next I leave on the same way the quick ones are the easy ones oh yeah I've just done you're saying that now you've just started I'm just a hamstring so even sitting on the hamstrings is causing discomfort <laughs> Feels like we got a job to do and we're fucking doing it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yes. Six fast, yeah? Yep. Do some more, do some more, do some more. Go on. Go on. Yes. And then these seats. Look at this. Ain't no time for rest. Faster, concentrate. That's it. Yeah. Nice smooth 12 now. Really fast concentric, really slow eccentric. And we'll do six sets. We'll move up one weight every set till we get to the fifth set. And then we'll move back down to where we started for the sixth set. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Is it dig deep? How long's that way? Yep. Good. Slow on the way back down, that's it. Good. <laughs> My hamstrings are shit. Hey! <laughs> Let's go. Come on. You sound like a growling badger or something. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, let's go. Fifth set, nearly there. Nice and quick on the way up, nice and slow on the way down. Come on, let's fucking go. It's Saturday night. Hey. 
baby can't you see